I am not only a proud advisor to the Reykjavik Global Forum, I'm also a proud CEO, board director, and technology leader. This is a really powerful group that we have assembled here, but I know that not all of you feel powerful when it comes to technology. And I'm using the word technology here and not AI because they are not synonyms. And I, part of my purpose today is to talk about how anyone can harness technology to turn ideas into action. We are going to need a lot of power together to achieve our action items and the transformation that we seek. And I'm going to start today by demystifying it and sharing with you some of the tools that were useful to me when it came to using technology to achieve my goals. I learned that technology is power, but it's also just a tool. And to go back to the AI point, um, it's, it can be very scary for people. It can be used for good, it can be used for bad, but this has been true of many technologies that came before it. It's been around for a long time. It's in a massive, massive hype cycle right now. It is going to be very important, but I think we're actually in a better place with it than we were when social media started. If we'd had the conversation that just took place here when social media was first taking off, I think we would be in a better place today. So that's part of what this is about. I'm going to start with some examples from my own career, and I'm going to give you a few examples ripped from the headlines of 2023, and I'm also going to sprinkle in some pop culture references because my personal story is that I was a latchkey kid, um, not exactly like Ashley Judd, but I did have a dog walking schedule, and uh, I also watched a lot of TV, and I ate a lot of Twinkies. So these are the tools that have been useful to me when it comes to transformation and technology. Facts, adaptability, collaboration. And it comes from my personal story. I started out as an art history major, and what that taught me as I became a digital leader is that it's really important to ask questions and think critically. And also, that anyone can look at the same thing and have very different views of it. So for instance, Computers, computer code, uh, technology. For some people, this is scary. For some people, the word AI is scary. And for some, it's really cool and beautiful. So I want to talk about how I address these challenges um, when I was tasked with turning around two businesses that, frankly, were considered lost causes. First, we turned around a print magazine, and we made it a very popular mobile app that we sold to one of the most successful media companies in the history of media. And then we took a sixth place division and we turned it into the first place streaming TV leader, and we did it using technology. But often, as was just mentioned in the previous panel, I was the only woman who had access to the room. And in these rooms, there were no other forms of diversity, and there certainly was not the discussion about intersectionality that so many people have raised and is so important to how we move forward in this space. So we are in a better place, and I think I, I want to offer a little bit of hope in this respect, in that we have come a long way, and we need, to, we need to give ourselves some credit for this, but we are facing some major and serious challenges. I believe these tools can enable anybody to address technology. It is, should not be scary. It needs to be demystified. It needs to be accessible and equitable for all. Facts are power. And asking questions is what helps you gather facts, like some people's favorite TV detective, Columbo. I'm, I'm using American pop culture references because, as I said, I watched a lot of TV growing up in the suburbs of Michigan. There are other detectives that I drew inspiration from when I was the person asking a lot of questions. Lester and Bunk from The Wire, 
the best show about American politics in the history of television. And if you're a politician and you haven't seen the show, this show explains a lot about America, so I recommend. I also love this new one, which you might not have seen because some of the people who have gotten involved in streaming TV have messed it up for everybody. It's called Poker Face. It's a great show. Natasha Leon is the star. And the point here is you can't be afraid to ask questions. Questions like, should I be wearing these virtual reality glasses? Maybe, no, maybe yes. Um, or should I be wearing these Google glasses? Maybe no, maybe yes. The answer is you should try it out because adaptability is power. It's all about adaptability. You've all already adapted to every social network that's come along and you will adapt to the ones that come ahead of us. The point is you have to try it out. And somebody asked me yesterday, should I be on TikTok? What should I be doing? Yes, you should have an account. You should try it out. You should know how it works. That doesn't mean you have to do the dance of the day or an unboxing of your new beauty products. You should try it out and not be afraid to ask questions. Adaptability is also helping us with technology in elections. In Poland and in Nigeria in 2023, technology was used for bad things, but also for good to, for instance, translate important information into local languages. Okay, the last point. Collaboration is power. I'm not really worried about this group. You all know how to collaborate. You are not like the cast of Survivor with a winner-take-all attitude. This is not that. You are kind of like the cast of Stranger Things a little bit in that we are fighting dark forces, sinister forces against the odds. I, I haven't seen the finale of the show. Obviously, nobody has, but I think these guys are going to win, and so are we. <laughs> or the filmmakers who made Barbie. And regardless of how you feel about this toy, these people changed our view. They transformed the world's view of this character. They transformed their own careers in the process, and it's a great reminder. Transformation is power. And we have power together, and I believe that we can achieve our action items with our power together through technology, through transformation. Let's not be scared. Let's demystify it. Let's make it ac accessible and equitable for all. Thank you.